Well, hello, friends. This is Dr. Dog back with you again. We're continuing with the course opening material, trying to get you acclimated to the valley of the shadow of statistics, the land of nerd, where dorks are really appreciated and where geeks like me are highly esteemed. In this little video, we're going to just talk a moment about the philosophical approach to quantitative analysis, just helping you, as my daddy used to say when he got a belt and worked my tail over, help you get your mind right as you approach this material. Now, we're going to, you know this, we need to make a couple of observations. The first of these is the quantitative methodology is driven by the problem. Uh, I assume that most of you who are taking this course one day will be writing a dissertation. You will be approaching some research problem. You may choose to do a qualitative study, God forbid, or you can touch the nectar of the gods by doing a quantitative study. If you do a quantitative study, then you will have a problem that you're wanting to investigate. That problem will drive the quantitative methodology that you select. Now, I want to tell you that no one right method exists. Uh, this is very important that you know this and that you hear this early on. You know, there's an old saying that a little learning is a dangerous thing. You find folks out here in the world that may have doctorate degrees and that think there is only one way to do something, or this method is the method you must use. It's the right method, and this method is always wrong, and you can't approach a problem, blah, blah, and it goes on and on and on and on. Well, there is none so ignorant as one who believes that one right method exists. There are many wrong methods, but there are likewise many right methods. And uh, to enlighten me on this, I want to share this quote by the great statistician George Box. George Box says all methods are wrong. Some are, however, useful. Any method that you approach a problem with will have weaknesses. It will be incorrect. It will not meet some assumptions. There will be someone who criticizes it. And it doesn't matter how bad a methodology you select to address a problem, there will likewise be someone out there who supports it, who believes that it is exactly what should be done. I love that, that all methods are wrong. Some are, however, useful. George Box points out that, you know, there is no one right way to do anything, but if you do some, to use a methodology, it can, of course, be helpful. Now, your analysis in a quantitative study is always for the informed reader. Uh, you will find as we get into this that uh, different methodologies will have different uh, assumptions that must be made before the methodology is conducted. You will find that if some of those assumptions are not met, that you can still do the analysis. You just will find it necessary to inform the reader. For I assure you that whatever the assumption is, if it's not met, there's some researcher out there, some guru of statistics, who says, yea, verily, this methodology is robust anyway. And if you meet all the assumptions, which we seldom do, you meet all the assumptions, there will still be some statistical guru out there who says, yea, verily, thou art surely wrong. So let me recap for you. The quantitative methodology is driven by the problem. No one right method exists. All methods are wrong. Some are, however, useful. An analysis is done and designed for the informed reader. You are educating an informed reader who when you lay out the assumptions and you examine them and tell them what is and isn't met, and then you give them the results, that informed reader has the background to take those results and use them accordingly. Again, I want to thank you very much for your support. We shall continue this journey through the valley of the shadow of statistics. In the words of the old Trekkies, live long and prosper.